Hi, I'm Jake from Northside Custom Crafts and today we're going to learn how to do inlay with the IQ CNC machine and Aspire software. So let's do this. This is going to be a software tutorial video and then at the end it's going to be actually showing doing the project. So if you're not into the software, I'm going to put a timestamp below so you can go straight to the action. Let's go to the computer. Here we are on the home screen of Aspire. We're going to start off by creating a new file. First thing we need to do is put our dimensions in here. And our dimensions are 8 inches by 12 inches. And we're going to leave that as an inch thick. And this is the same as the VCAR Pro. This is just Aspire and it, it can do 3D modeling but the setup's all the same. Your Z0 is going to be at the top of the material. Our X and Y where we're going to start the machine off is going to be in the lower left hand corner and that's about all we have to do on that screen so we're going to hit OK. The first thing I like to do is put some guidelines out and all you do is left click and grab that thing on the side over there and we want to go to the center it's eight inches wide so we're going to go to four and i'm going to leave it right there then we come up here and grab a guideline and we want to go to six there we are that just gives us a reference of where the center is so we can center our our picture that we're going to put on there so speaking of the picture the next thing i need to do is i've already taken something off of google put it in my files and so we're going to go to import bitmap for tracing. We're going to hit that. There's our paw print. Get that. Open it. It's right there. So we need to change this into vectors. So we go to the little bird button over here. The trace bitmap button. Hit it. And it's, it's already on black and white. I'm going to leave all of these to the defaults. And we're going to see what we have. I'm going to hit preview. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to apply it. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to double tap that. I'm going to right click. And delete that. And now all we're left with is these vectors. I'm just going to size this to a more appropriate size. So I'm double click on that. I'm going to make it bigger center it that's about right I'm gonna come over to toolpaths and I'm gonna pin that there so as you can see if you come off of it it goes away so I like to pin it and it stays there so all we need to do on the female part of the inlay is go to the V carve start depth is gonna be zero And we're going to go two tenths of an inch deep. It's a 60 degree V bit. It's already selected. We use a flat area clearance tool. It's an end mill, it's a quarter inch end mill. All that's going to do is these big spaces right here, it's going to clear those out a lot faster than a V bit will. So we use that. We come down here, hit calculate. We're going to slow this down a little bit. We're going to preview visible tool pass. Looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this right here for now. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to copy it. Now I gotta make seven of these signs. I'm gonna make eight, cause one of them I'm gonna cut it apart so I can show you more how this fits together. What I did right there is I just copied it and I'm gonna open a whole new, a whole new file on Aspire. And I'm gonna, I've already put the new dimensions in. So I'm gonna group these to where I can do more than one at a time. So the dimensions of the, the other material is seven and a quarter 
wide, 25 long and one inch thick. And all of this is the same. The Z0 is going to be on the top of the material. The X and Y is going to be in the lower left hand corner. Let's do this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste one. I'm going to paste that. Now, when you're doing inlay, you have to flip this. So you come over here to mirror image, mirror selected objects. You hit it. And we want to flip this horizontally. And this paw print's hard to tell, so here we go. That flipped it, and we're going to close that. I'm going to click on this, I'll click off of this click back on it. I'm going to recopy this now that it's in the right orientation. I'll copy that. I'm going to move this up here. I'm going to paste another one. And I'm going to move it. Paste another one. Move it. Paste another one. So the next thing we need to do is we need to put a square around this so that the V carve will actually work the right way and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So I'm just basically going to come over here and grab a square. I'm going to come over here to this corner and drag a square the whole area of this material there you go I'm gonna close this I'm gonna hit shift and I'm gonna hit all these we're gonna go to tool pass I'm gonna pin it so it doesn't drive me crazy and we're gonna go to v-carve again now here's the difference on the v-carve the start depth up here it needs to be at point one and your flat depth needs to be at point one also <clears throat> that still equals point two what we did on the female side but it makes it fit together and it creates glue surface and room for us to get a blade in to cut them apart later. I'll show you that later and it'll all become clear. And I told you I would make an extra one and cut it in half so we could see what's really going on with this offset. Now you see this surface right here that's for extra glue to go in and this surface right here that's for your bandsaw blade to go in and that's how you chop this off we started one tenth below the surface and then we cut another tenth now if we would have cut starting at zero then this surface would be touching this surface and this one would be touching this one there would be nowhere for the glue to go and there would be no way to get a bandsaw blade in there so that's the purpose of the offset on your male part there. There you go. So here's the V-bit we're going to use 60 degree again. We're going to use a flat area clearance tool again. Just to make it faster, these big areas right here, it's going to clear them out a lot faster than a V-bit will. And we're going to calculate. So we'll preview the, vis the visible tool pass. Note that there is two tool paths again because we're doing a clearance and a V carve. Now let's get a different view of this and we can see that this is the male part or the plug. Make it a little bigger. Pretty cool, huh? These all should fit in together now, so 
I'm gonna save these toolpaths this is the male one so I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna do the pocket first save it I'm gonna name it male pocket I'm gonna save it I'm gonna switch it to the v-carve one and I'm gonna name it male v-carve save it I'll come down here to our other open aspire we have two toolpaths here and this is the female part and I'll go to the pocket first save at the pocket save toolpath and we'll put female pocket we'll save it we'll save toolpath to female B carve we're going to save that I'll put those tool paths on the jump drive and then we'll go out to the machine. We just designed a pretty simple inlay project on Aspire software. Laguna sent me that software. Thank you Laguna for believing in me. Now this is my Laguna IQ CNC machine. I did a review on this and I'll put a link up there. And I've done a few videos now and it goes into depth on the handheld controller. Now from now on, I'm gonna go in depth on the designing part of it and then we're gonna have fun on this part. So if you wanna learn how, to, how the handheld controller works and all that stuff, I'm gonna put links to my other videos below and up here and at the end. So what I gotta do now is I have to turn on the machine, turn on the water. I have to get this bit and set it to right there so where it knows where it's at and then we find the depth and then we start making an inlay. Here we go. Now if this was just text or something that didn't really matter that much, I would just batch out each one individually with each bit. I would do seven in a row with the, with the end mill and then I would put those back in, and change the bit to the V bit and then I would go that. But since it's inlay, it needs to be a little more precise. So I'm gonna do each one individual. We're gonna speed it up, put on some music. Here we go. second part now this is the plug part the the male part of it and we're gonna do that with this do you know what this is that is mahogany yep it's mahogany here we go we speed it up again and we're gonna make these plugs Start the 
finished project, I had to make seven of these and that having a CNC machine made it real easy to do that. This uh, video was about inlay, so I didn't go over the text or anything, but let's look at the inlay. It, it's flat, you can, I can't even feel where the, I just, I can feel the, the grain difference, but I can't feel the lines here. There's no gaps at all. So I'm pretty happy with this way these came out. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing about one a month or so, maybe sooner, maybe a little less, depending on what's going on. But I'll have these videos coming up. Subscribe, like, share, and all that stuff. We'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a great day. Crickety crick.